Greetings. I present the Rekin 3D Studio System. Audio Digital Box ADB100. I will show you how to connect the device to the Rekin system. Connect the power supply unit's plug to the ADB100. Secure the locking screw. Connect the other plug of the power supply unit to the power source. To turn the device on, hold the power button for one second. To turn it off, hold down the button for about three seconds. Connecting a straight through network cable provides communication with the Rekin system. Plug it into the audio link socket on the rear of the housing and the other end of the cable to the ADB100 device's audio link socket. Let's go to the Rekin 3D Studio application. In the Audio In tab you can find an audio mixer for the Rekin card. And for media and sound trays as well as for audio panel input located in the front of the system. There is an audio box tab right next to it. In case the device is not connected, a ADB100 graphics is displayed in the tab. Along with a message about a lack of communication with the device below it. When all the cables are correctly connected and the power button on the ADB100 device is pressed, then instead of graphics, an audio mixer for this device will be automatically displayed. Analog 1 input on the XLR connector, beside it a second Analog 2 input. Both inputs have sockets for the right and left channels, Analog 1, and Analog 2 right and left. Next is the microphone in jack. Digital inputs on the XLR connector, Digital 1 and digital 2 input. The device also has two digital outputs. On the audio mixer you can also find headphone output control. And in the application you can choose an input channel source for it. The device also has analog outputs. For each channel it is possible to set mute option. For input channels, a single channel listening function is available when solo option is checked. In the general settings, a trigger function support has been added for the audio box tab. Open menu options and configuration. In the window, select the trigger tab. Press one of the buttons, F1 for example. Select an advanced mode. I will add audio input mute function to the list. On the right side, in the given function settings, I will select audio box analog 1 input channel. I will check mute on off option. For F2 key, the second advanced trigger will be programmed. I will also add audio input mute function. I will choose the same analog one input. And I will leave mute option unchecked. With F1 trigger key we check mute option for this channel. While F2 key unchecks mute. Let's go again to menu options and configuration. To the next F3 button. I will also program the next function in the advanced mode. This time I will add audio input solo to the list. I will choose one of the ADB100 input channels, example analog 2. I will check solo on off option as active. And for the next button F4 I will program a similar function. Advanced mode. Audio input solo function. AB Digital 1 Audio Channel. I will check Solo On Off option as active. Now you can switch Solo function between the two audio channels using F3 and F4 keys. I will show you yet another trigger function applicable to the ADB100 device operation. For F5 button I will also select the Advanced mode. 
I will add audio input volume function. It sets a volume level for the selected audio channel. Example analog 1 channel to minus 15 decibels. Now after pressing F5 trigger key in the audio mixer the slider will adjust its position to the value of minus 15 decibels. What's more, AudioBox device also has a headphone output. Using a trigger it is possible to automatically set one of the channels that we will hear in the headphones. To a key F6 for example in the trigger's advanced mode, select audio output source function from the list. It is located a bit lower. Now, setting its parameter, choose one of the inputs, example a sound tray that contains audio files. Headphone output now will serve as a tab for one of the audio channels. When you exit the configuration window, trigger F6 key. You will notice that the sound tray is marked as tapped in the audio box tab under the headphone audio channel. Please note here. If you go to the Audio Out tab, you can see that the sound tray has also been set for the headphone output located on the audio panel. Audio Output Source function sets the source for both headphone outputs, audio panels and audio box devices. Finally, microphone input support for the ADB100 device. Settings can be found in the Audio tab. For this input, separate microphone power type settings have been prepared. None type for dynamic microphone without a power supply. The second type is Phantom. A warning appears about supplying 48V voltage to the microphone insert. A red LED lights up on the device. This type is designed for connecting a condenser microphone. You can find the gain adjustment below. Observe the principle that connecting and disconnecting the microphone from the socket is only safe when a none type is selected. Thank you. Wrecking. Keen on record.